happy Friday. It's about one o'clock. We're starting the vlog off a little late today. I had one of those days where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take my time getting ready. I wanna do just like a, I wanna do my makeup, but not like do my makeup. And then all of a sudden I ended up with a smoky eye. So that's, that's the kind of day we're having today. The weather outside is frightful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the weather outside is horrendous. It is super cold, super wet, super rainy since yesterday, and it doesn't look like it's gonna let up. I was so excited to have another like summer beachy pool day this weekend. It, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Uh, the weather is not cooperating. However, that is not going to stop me from enjoying this weekend sponsor, which is Slim Chillers. Y'all, I have to blame what would Lizzie do because she also partakes in hot Costco dates with her man, just like I do with Parker, and it's a slippery slope. You start off buying like a two pack of, mm, I don't know, four pounds of butter, and then you end up bringing home 90C batteries that you don't know the last time you had an item that required C batteries, you buy two loaves of bread because you have to buy two at a time, and then just so casually, you happen to bring home a 100 calorie grown up popsicle that tastes like a martini. <laughs> how does that happen? It's interesting how life happens, isn't it? It's also interesting that my steamer is standing right there behind us. So later in this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys some Slim Chillers. I'm gonna enjoy them for you. You will live vicariously through me. Listen, this is our parasocial relationship. It's the real thing. And the next time that you're at Costco and you think about me, just like I think about Lizzie, you're gonna get them and you're gonna love them just the same. But, y'all, so much exciting stuff in this vlog. So, Slim Chillers. Yeah, it's like grown up Otter Pops. At 1.30, we have a meeting to pick out kitchen cabinets kitchen counters, and kitchen backsplash. Just pretend there's three things right there. We're gutting our kitchen. <laughs> I told you guys I was gonna do cooking videos again, and it's just one of those things where we moved into this house and we realized how non-functional and horrendous this kitchen is. So just to give you guys an idea, this home was owned by the original homeowners for 20 years, and this guy was like, the DIY king, but that isn't good at DIYs. You know, like he likes to DIY everything, but he's not good at it. So there was the wrong, there, there's, no, there's no vent. He carried a gas line where he wasn't supposed to. The cabinet knobs, like the cabinet knobs are all in different locations. You guys haven't noticed this because when you watch the vlog, you're not actually trained to look for that. The knobs are in the wrong place. Uh, they DIY'd those glass inserts, so if I were to show you guys an up close of our kitchen, you would see the bubbling of the paint. Y'all, it's a nightmare. It is a night. Gordon Ramsay needs to come to my kitchen and he'd be like, wow, it is fabulously clean, but who the heck designed it? The DIY master. We have an appointment at this uh, remodeling center and we're gonna pick out those three things today. The renovation isn't going to start for probably a few months and it will take probably a few months, uh, we're gonna be kitchenless for the entire time. It's going to be ceiling to floor renovation. Like they're literally gutting the kitchen. So we are on our way to pick that. I don't know if I'll show you guys, maybe I will. We kind of have an idea of what we want, but we're not big designers ourselves. So that's why we hired the right people to do that. Um, and that's it. Um, I know you guys appreciate this professional background that I have for the intro of this vlog, but um, it's it's loud in my house right now. It, it's loud and I needed to be able to do an intro and, and tell you guys, like, see what I mean? Like, the noise follows me. Let's just go renovate our kitchen. Hey you guys, so it's three o'clock. We're at the design center and word on the street is we're easy customers because we actually made decisions. I'm kind of proud of myself because Parker and I are notorious overthinkers, but today was actually an easy visit because we only had to pick backsplash, uh, floors, uh, cabinet. Let me just show you. Just... All right, y'all. So you're getting a sneak peek 
This is the style of cabinet. So like this trim here. This is the floor we went with, with this grout. Look, they have everything laid out, isn't that handy? We are kind of playing with paint. We haven't really decided on that. We're leaning towards Repose Gray, which apparently is like Sherwin-Williams number one seller or best seller. This is the quartz counter that we went with, which is very minimal veining, but we did want a little bit to kind of mix it up. And then the piece de resistance. Look at this, you guys. This is totally an oops. Like they weren't gonna show it to us, but uh, they wanted to see if there was a different size in it. And the minute she walked past with this uh, backsplash, I was like, that's it, I want that. But I looked over at Parker a little hesitant because he's not really, you know, he's, he, this is busy. <laughs> so it's like a herringbone but it has five different textures in it. So it gives it that multi-dimensional and like multi-height illusion, but it's all the same, it's all the same height. You see that? But it looks like there's all different heights. So it has the metallic, it has the flat white, it has some shell in it, which is kind of cool. No, mother of pearl, I think. Mother of pearl, whatever, same thing. Y'all know I'm uncouth and unrefined, okay? And then we're gonna do this grout in the backsplash. But just to give you guys a little behind the scenes, this is, this is what we walked into. And they were like, all right, go for it. Pick stuff out. Just kidding, they had it totally, this is the stuff we kind of weeded through over here too. Like, what was I thinking? This is the concept I had in my mind. And then when they showed it to me, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely unrefined. Look at this. So much fun stuff. Oh, and look at this. This is our kitchen. This is gonna be our cabinets. We're gonna get like triple the amount of cabinet space, which is super exciting. We're gonna get a stove where the, the oven is beneath it, as opposed to right now where our ovens are here. Do you remember, do you remember the ovens? We don't need to talk about the ovens. Those, those caused us a lot of pain. This comes with the kitchen right here. It's, it was an upgrade, but we can afford it. And then look at that. Isn't that pretty? When there's these many choices, it's a little overwhelming, but look at that. Yeah, I mean, whatever you can imagine, you can get it. Look at this. I mean, it just goes on forever and there's more showrooms as you go along. So here's a scoop. Besides the fact that I'm getting makeup all over my disposable mask is uh, next week, we're actually going to a different showroom where we're gonna pick stove, sink, uh, sink fixture. What else, Parker? Uh, Hardware. Hood hardware, all the fun stuff, like the big stuff, like, oh, stove, like I have to pick my stove, no pressure. So that's what's going on right now, but I am starving. I don't think I've had a proper meal all day. So we are gonna wrap things up and, uh, and go eat. Or have a 100 calorie Slim Chiller Popsicle. I'm kind of excited about that. You guys, they've been in the freezer for two days. I just put them in there for good measure a little bit longer, just, just to make sure I don't mess it up, you know? Hey, hey, you guys, it's about 4.30. That car is really loud. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious little Civics. We just went on a very exciting adventure. So when you're watching this vlog, I forgot how bouncy this car is. I'm like, join me on this roller coaster. Um, we just went on a big adventure. So when you guys are watching this vlog, it's too late. However, right now in current time, in our time, uh, Sephora's having their VIP sale. And because I have a strange addiction, I'm rouge. So I've been, using my discount code a lot over and over and over again. And this in particular was very exciting because I had to get one item you guys recommended and I found an item locally. And I say locally because this one had to take me on a massive adventure throughout the Metroplex for an item that's sold out online and locally everywhere. I even tried to track it to the Sephora's around my mom's house because maybe she could buy it and then ship it to me. Hold on guys, let me, I need this for effect. Mission accomplished. We are on our way to a restaurant. What's it called? Uh, crab? Crab Station. Crab Station. So this is one of Parker's favorite restaurants. He always makes us take him there on Father's Day and his birthday. But we just realized there was one actually kind of nearby to like where we live, which is exciting but potentially dangerous for our cholesterol. So it's one of those places where they bring you boiled seafood in a bag, whether it's crawfish, shrimp, crab legs, things like that. So it's gonna get messy and we're gonna bring you along. So when we get there, I'll make sure to show you guys how fabulous we both look in our bibs.
Just hold on a second, okay? All day, all day, all day. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, it's Sunday. It's around 4.30. My neighbors just heard me vlogging and they decided to go outside and make lots of noise. And that's my neighbor dog. Today's just one of those days where it's like, you're really trying to make the best of Sunday, but Sunday might as well just set itself on fire. <laughs> I'm still in my pajamas, it's 4.30. All I've done all day is chores. And the cherry on top is my beautiful, handsome, intelligent, healthy baby boys came back from co-parents house with a brand new flute and a harmonica. Oh boy. <laughs> How's your day going? So Parker and I are trying to find some reprieve or some respite in our day by doing some yard work and hiding from the harmonica. Well, I'm not, I'm not doing yard work. I'm doing laundry, Parker's lunches, cooking dinner, ordered groceries, like I'm doing all that other stuff inside, but I'm, I'm hiding right now because I've, I've had my fill. I've had my fill of, of harmonica music for today. You know, I usually, I, I, I'm not, I'm not like anti-harmonica, but when it's in your house all Sunday, maybe a little bit, but Parker had a great idea to fix the dog's potty patch. It wasn't something that I was thinking about, but he says it's something that is very important for Wesley because he has little legs. And I think it's really just because he knows the way to my heart. So um, on this episode of Parker's OnlyFans, um, he's playing with dirt and some stones. All right, hopefully it's not too windy so that you, oh, oh wow, there's, I didn't know this was happening too. It's like a patchwork. It's fancy, see? It's fancy? <laughs> it's so windy. It wasn't expensive, so it's worth a try. Okay. If it doesn't work, I'll come back with some uh, rocks to put in between. Okay, so you see the stones? It was a lot lower. So where Ernie's walking right now was like a, it was a step. So there was a step there so Parker filled it with soil. Do you see all that beautiful blue, blue, brown soil there? So he filled it with soil, leveled it off on an angle, so it's almost like a ramp. Do you guys remember when Parker made a ramp for Wesley? Think about the same concept. He laid out the stone, and now he's tearing sod and putting it in between, so it looks like those fancy HDTV homes. So you notice like, when you come outside, you like come all the way to here. Yeah, where the and steps connected. Down. Yeah, and then when he's done, he gets excited and he forgets and goes up this side and just tumbles. Tumbles. Hey, do you tumble? Do you tumble? No? Oh, okay. Well, you're being all braggadocious now, huh? Look at you. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Supermodel. He's demonstrating. Hey, do you want a special adult treat? Or do you want me to get Mateo to play the harmonica more out here for you? <laughs> think about think about it do you do you want to hear the harmonica because I can go get no, it I, don't hear that. I was telling our pandas that the babies came home with a harmonica and a flute and it's magical isn't it I like how I like his transitions <laughs> he'll go from the harmonica right to the flute right back to the harmonica <laughs> I think he's on to something I really do I think co-parents on to something <laughs> <laughs> not, not the boys it's, it's gotta be some type of harassment <laughs> I'm like, Dirty what? Joke. What does this mean? Dirty joke. And this means war. <laughs> Somebody's getting a drum set. What? I was gonna say, what do, what do we send back next week? A drum set and a keyboard. A keyboard? Okay, you guys. Let me, let me show you what I was talking about. Remember at the beginning of this vlog, I told you that the vlog was made in partnership with Slim Chillers. So Slim Chillers, you guys, has skinny freezer pops. Look at this. So we get ours at Costco, and they come in three different varieties. We have the wine cocktail, which has 114 calories, and then you have the vodka ones. So you have the uh, vodka martinis and then the vodka cocktails. Each of these little tubes that includes heaven on the inside has four different flavors. I didn't think that I was gonna to love these as much as I did. I was like, okay, this is kind of sounding like a gimmick. 100 calories, really, yo playing me. But my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about this is, check this out. 
they don't freeze hard, like crunchy hard. You know how Otter Pops, you have to bite them or you have to let them get soft a little bit? These don't actually freeze frozen hard. They freeze almost like a little bit harder than a slushy, and so they're so delicious to eat. So like, let me show you. The vodka uh, martini set has four flavors. We have the Cosmo, the Appletini. Oh no, I hope the harmonica doesn't find me. Uh, lemon drop, and let's see here, the watermelon lemonade. So these are the four flavors that come in the, do you hear that? That's the flute the vodka martini, <laughs> then we have the vodka cocktail and we have the wine cocktail. So just to give you an idea on this one, these are the flavors that come in here. So we got the blackberry pomegranate, strawberry grapefruit, orange berry, and peach mango. Oh, that sounds delicious. Look at, look at this. Isn't that magic? So it's frozen, but it's not hard. It's not gonna hurt your teeth like some of those classic popsicles. You know what I mean? Look at this one. I wonder which one Parker would want. This is a pear lemon drop. So this is a vodka cocktail. So we got vodka cocktails, we got vodka martinis, and we got wine cocktails. And I'm gonna take one to Parker so he can take a break from yard work and we can take a break from the harmonica. <laughs> I'm coming, Parker. I'm coming to save the day. I'm coming to save the day. I'm coming to save the day. Are you coming, Mern? Hey, do you wanna, do you want a skinny freezer? Do you want a skinny freezer? What flavor do you want? You strike me like a wine girl. Do you want, do you want a wine one? All right, I got four flavors for you to choose from. Okay. Tell me which one sounds the most delicious. A lemon drop? Yes. <laughs> Watermelon lemonade. Perfect. Blueberry citrus. That one. Or pear lemon drop. Okay. Pear lemon drop, that's weird. Doesn't that sound fancy? Mern, you are not 21 years old. Go away. We're not going to get this sponsorship approved. Which one do you think? Uh, I think what was the watermelon again? Watermelon lemonade. Oh, here comes the other one. I think you're way over 21. The dub was like 90. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are about to enjoy our grown-up pops. Here's the most exciting part is these are usually fun when we're having like a pool party, when we have friends over, because it's a way to be like, hey, let's have a cocktail without actually having a cocktail. It feels like dessert. It's low calorie. They taste delicious. You can get them at Costco. But like right now, we don't have plans. We're a little aggressive because of the day we've had. And so it's like, let's hide from the kids. <laughs> and enjoy a confectionery. I'm having a lemon drop. It's fun, you don't feel like you're doing something naughty. Did you guys ever have your um, uh, lemon drop phase? You know when you go out, depending on what phase in life you are, you have like a lemon drop phase, you have a dirty martini phase, you have a straight up bourbon on the rocks phase. When you're trying to grow hair on your chest. Well, I'm going through a skinny freezer phase because this is delicious. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid. To I had to convince Parker when we were at Costco about getting them. I was like, "But what would Lizzie do when her husband liked them?" And he's like a dude, super tough alpha guy too. And he's like, "I don't know if I want to be eating a fruity popsicle." And I was like, "Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna put it in the cart. Just, just think about it. Just think." And now he's like, "Do we have any more of those wine cocktail screening freezers?" <laughs> Telling all my secrets. Mm -hmm. They're really good, you guys. They're really good. Something different. I love popsicles, but I'm always hesitant. Like I'll reach for an ice cream sandwich over a popsicle just because they freeze hard. And I'm like, I'm not in the mood to bite. Especially you guys know the story with my teeth. But these, do you guys see that? It's like, oh, you know what? It's like you have a frozen margarita at your house, like machine. Basically. Yeah. It's like you have a frozen margarita machine at your house. That's what it it's has like. has that consistency. They look pretty and colorful. I mean, the color is very attractive. The taste is very attractive. Are you almost done over there? Yeah. <laughs> I need to. I, need I think to Parker got excited when I told him they were only 100 calories. Because he's to, very like calorie count conscious. I need to uh, be more responsible with my frozen pop eating here. That is a very important thing that I'm glad you said. Enjoy them responsibly, you guys. They are very delicious. And um, they're very delicious. Mm -hmm. So. Please be responsible. They are only 100 calories, but that doesn't mean anything, okay? So enjoy them, but. Yeah, you can't tell that you're having a, a cocktail. Mm-hmm. 
I could see how this could become a problem for me this summer, but like a good problem. Today I'm blaming the harmonica. Tomorrow I'm gonna blame summer break. <laughs> After that I'm gonna blame Labor Day. Why are you looking at the other ones? Well, they're melting. I'm, I'm worried about them. It's kind. It, I'm. I'm sorry. Did you did you ask my skinny freezer for consent on drinking her? Because <clears throat> that well. was mine. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank Slim Chillers for sponsoring this vlog. If you guys see these at Costco the next time you're there buying 42 C batteries and 7 gallons of milk, make sure you snag them. Put them in your freezer for at least 8 hours. And if you don't have a Costco nearby, I will have a link in the description box below. Do you want to taste it? You know which one I want to taste? The blueberry. I haven't actually tried that one. Every time we buy the little cylinders that I showed you guys, they run out. And I think it's attractive because of the color. Do you see it's that pretty like lavendery violet shade very pretty color. it's a very oh actually you know what let me just double check how pretty the color is hold on i'm going mm -hmm. uh do you remember how i told you that these taste like um growing up water pops mm -hmm. try this like this literally tastes like an otter pop like an otter pop that's that's in college i didn't i didn't want you to open the green one I told you, hey, let's Ooh. try the blueberry one. That's I didn't tell you to open the green one. The green one's one of my favorites. And I don't want I didn't want it to open it so that I could save it and I could eat it later. I don't know, man. Blueberry and watermelon here. Isn't it? I didn't race. even get to try the watermelon one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, if you want to check out Slim Chillers and you do not have a Costco in your area, that bird is really excited about trying skinny freezers right now. She goes, sit those down and walk away for half a second. She's like, can you walk away for a minute? I will have a link in the description box below. That link is going to take you to a page that not only is going to ask you if you are of age to drink alcohol, but to give you a list of all the local retailers that carry these delicious 100 calorie confections in your area. But for now, I have to go whine about my day. I have to go magically, mysteriously disappear a harmonica and a flute. And I have to go check on my roast that's in the oven. Today has not been fun, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Parker went to work on a Sunday. Like that's the kind of Sunday we've had. He went to work, <clears throat> I stayed home, and I did like seven loads of laundry. Yesterday was a lot of fun though. Mm -hmm. We had fun yesterday. So I guess yeah, we Parker, <laughs> Parker took me on an adventure, on a Sephora adventure. I didn't even know that part of town existed. So that was nice. Guys, if you don't drive 60 miles round trip to take your to take your wife to get a Sephora. Uh, a Sephora. You're not. You're not husbanding correctly. He gets in the car and he's like, "We're going to Ulta, right?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> Sephora." He's like, "Okay, okay, got it." Uh, Ultra Sephora. What? Mmm. <laughs> he said, "We're going to Ultra." <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Ultra, right? I'm like, "Mm-hmm." What do you think the neighbor's doing? I keep hearing that noise, but it. It's not vacuuming. That's a serious vacuum, though. It sucks. <laughs> but I'm. Look at those little rolls. Oh, those are nice rolls. Yeah, those are nice rolls. I totally forgot to show you guys our chairs. They finally came in. It only took like seven months. Parker, how long did it take? Forever. Forever. Look at these beauties. So they have these little pads on top. It's like a box, I guess. We store our pool noodles in there. And they're totally adjustable. So like if you want to lay flat, you can. If you want to lay, lay up like this or sit up, you can as well. I ordered them on Amazon. They got lost twice. They sent us the wrong ones the first time. I mean, it was, it was a story. So we're going to use the heck out of these chairs this summer. We've already tried them. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a little tan right now, thanks to these chairs. But we've been enjoying them. Today's actually not a very warm day, although it looks otherwise, but it's a little chilly. The sun feels nice, and you know what else feels nice? Not listening to a harmonica. You know what else feels nice? That's all I got. That's all I got for you guys right now. That's it. That's it. Is it good? Oh, that face. Can you please tell me what's happening right here? What? What's going on? And why you've been playing the harmonica all day? <laughs> hey, how are you feeling? You still feel yucky? Poor babies, poor babies. So we got the boys some fruit in a taco, plain. 
We got all the toppings over here for me and Parker. Parker was over here helping me shred the beef. If you guys know, you know. If you don't know, I'll link a video. And then I got some tortillas we gotta flip. If you don't flip with your hands, you're not doing it right, y'all. All right, and then I got Parker's lunches. I made the dog some food, but I still have to mix it up. That's why it looks kind of weird. And that's all we got. I burnt some chicken. Don't judge me, okay? This is, it's been a crazy day. These look good, and that's all that matters. Right? Right? right. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse Thank you. <laughs> See, this, stop! Stop. <laughs> this is how the tacos are supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes they have onions, but I didn't want to chop that. Is it still good? Delicious. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> hey, you guys. Happy Monday. It is 9.30. Uh, we just got through, I think around this time is usually when I, when like things actually settle down. Ernie gets picked up for camp. The kids get shuttled off to school. Not actually shuttled. I, I'm the shuttle. I'm the chef. I'm the, I'm the tailor. <laughs> Housekeeper. Around this time is when, it, when it's like, okay, you can breathe. I know if I don't prioritize myself, no one else will for me, but we're working on it. This is also my air dried hair. Look at that. Look at that fabulosity. Okay. So I have a few updates for you guys before I sign off on this vlog, which I'm not excited about, but I am excited about. So I went to see a fancy dentist in Dallas about my chip tooth. Look at that little sucker right there. I've seen three different dentists about it and the general consensus is you need to align your teeth if you want to stop breaking your front teeth. So I've told you guys several times, every time we talk about my teeth, I bring it up. And it's just to give you guys context. So when I was 16 or 17, I was jumped at school and a lot of my teeth were chipped. I also have a broken tooth down here. That was when I was little and so that's bonded as well. And so there are certain teeth that I never fix, like this one here. And I tried to do, well, I got braces when I was 15. I aligned my teeth, but I never wore my retainers. Regret that. And then right before I got divorced, I got Invisalign and it was a very horrible experience for me. It was horrible because they didn't tell me about the attachments, those little cement beads that they cement onto your teeth. They didn't tell me about that ahead of time, which is my fault. I wasn't informed, but I feel like there's some sort of responsibility on the dentist to inform you of that. Not to mention I went to a dentist to get that done where I should have gone to an orthodontist. And so six years ago, Invisalign was so different. They would do Invisalign with putty trays and the attachments that they would bond onto your teeth were white. So for me, it gave me a horrible list. You could see the attachments when I wasn't wearing the trays. And I'm a grazer, so it was very difficult for me to eat all day when I have to be wearing these trays for 20 hours a day. So anyway, I went to several dentists. Finally, I ended up with a very, very amazing orthodontist. She's freaking amazing. They did scans and x-rays and all this stuff. She printed out this thing with all kinds of pictures of my face. Y'all, you never wanna see yourself that, like that close, you know? And so she basically told me a lot of the reason, a lot of the problems that I have could potentially be fixed by realigning my teeth. So I was going in with the idea of, I'm gonna get braces on my bottom teeth to fix this tooth so that this tooth stops chipping my front teeth and then I'll bond my front teeth and I won't have a problem ever again. Well, when she was telling me, my teeth aren't crooked right now, I think they're pretty relatively straight, but they could be better. Well, and when she was telling me, she's like, well, you have an underdeveloped chin. And I was like, oh my God, my underdeveloped chin lives with my underdeveloped boobs. <laughs> so she was telling me all about like, I guess, like my physical development and how that affects my mouth and all of that stuff. And so she was like, your headaches may potentially go away if you reel in your teeth. Your double chin might not be so visible like this extra skin here if we realign your teeth. So there's so many things that are actually connected to the alignment of my teeth. 
And I was like, even if she couldn't promise me the sun and the moon and the stars, just the fact that this snaggle tooth down here is gonna stop bullying my front teeth and chipping them, I mean, that's an advantage on its own. Well, she was telling me that every several years, she didn't give me an amount, but she's like, as we get older, our teeth go through a lot of shifts. So that tooth may have not been as snaggly a few years ago, so it didn't mess up your bonding. But now that it's moved again, it's gonna keep breaking it. So this is your only option. I'll support your decision, but these are the pros, these are the cons, this is what we could do, this is what, you guys, in May, I'm getting Invisalign again. Long story long, in May, on May 27th, your girl is getting Invisalign again. Now, my orthodontist promised that because it is a digital scan, it's one of those weird cameras that takes a picture of the inside of your mouth, because it is a digital scan, the lisp will be minimal, minimal or non-existent because it's so exact, like the trays would be so exact the size of your mouth or whatever. The actual beads or the attachments, like the little cement bumps that they cement to your teeth so that your teeth move, are clear, which they weren't six years ago. And the process should take about six months. I spend longer contemplating posting things on my Poshmark <laughs> than, than a whole orthodontic treatment would take. And the other option is, or rather the other thing, the other benefit, the other plus is that if in fact realigning my teeth makes me stop grinding my teeth, takes the pressure away from my jaw, which gives me headaches or minimizes my double chin flap, uh, why not, you know, six months, I could spare six months. And uh, I don't know, it's, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about the lisp and I'm a little worried about having to wear trays 20 hours a day but I'm excited and I think it's one of those things where maybe it feels like frou-frou and cosmetic and maybe it feels like not necessary, but I'm so tired of having to fix my front tooth getting chipped. That is so like, it's like the center of my face. Right now I'm lucky that we wear face coverings everywhere we go, but every time I chip my front tooth, it's two to 300 bucks to fix it. And so I'm like, oh. I take care of everyone in this house, you know? Like, everyone has doctor's appointments. I'm shuttling everyone back and forth. Wesley has at least one doctor appointment a week. My boys have been going nonstop to the dentist and to their wellness visits, and Daniel has to go to an ophthalmologist. And so, I'm always being pulled in a million directions, but none, like, no direction that I'm being pulled in is for me. Not none. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a pity party, it's just my role and my season in life right now, but any of the directions that I go in, like, it's never for me, ever. Um, and so I think it's just one of those things that I need to do, and it's very easy to justify why not to do it, but I need to. So here we are, confessing to my pandas that I'm going back to realigning my teeth at almost 40 years old. So I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous because, you know, it's your face. I almost wish that I had done this a little sooner. I mean, I anticipate us having to wear face coverings for a while still, so I'll have that advantage. I've never been one to really care what people think. I've been of the firm belief of unless they pay for one of your bills, they really don't have any real estate in your brain or your heart and it's it's valid it's totally true you know but at the same time it does give you something more to worry about something more to stress about something more to your to add to your to-do list another doctor's visit to add to your schedule so it does complicate your life but the payoff is supposed to be well worth it so we're going on this journey together and you better believe your girl's gonna document it. So I'm excited about so many changes happening. I'm a little anxious because that's just how I am. I'm a worrywart, you know, with not having a kitchen for a while and that's starting in May as well. Having to fix my teeth. Daniel's probably gonna need to have a procedure on his eye. It's all, I just, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot. It's. <laughs> 
it's gonna be a lot and I'll try my best to include you guys in the process but I wanted to just kind of update you guys on that kind of stuff because it's it's a lot it's a lot happening we were actually supposed to go to Louisiana next weekend the boys and I are gonna stay back Parker and the girls are gonna go instead the week after that Sam and Matt are coming to visit so that'll be a nice reprieve or like respite of all the worries that we've had you know recently and things like that so it'll be a nice little break like a adult fun for a few days and the boys come back and I don't think the boys have ever met Matt they love Sam so that'll be fun so there's a lot of good mixed in with the stress and so it gives us that little glimmer of something to look forward to which is always nice and I've told you guys a million times it's always about perspective reframing your perspective reframing your perspective not toxic positivity but reframing your perspective obviously it could be better but it could always be worse we're all good it's all good news you know hey listen a lot of people don't get the advantage to to get to fix their teeth and I and I can do that so I'm excited and maybe it'll get rid of my double chin no I'm just it's not it's that's like that's miraculous <laughs> Let's be realistic. That's toxic positivity. <laughs> hey, can your orthodontist get rid of my double chin? That's toxic positivity right there. Anyway, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much to Slim Chillers Skinny Freezers for sponsoring this weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Y'all, I'm serious. Growing up water pops are the best. I think that's probably what saved me from losing my marbles last night. They were, they were, they're always delicious. So if you guys wanna find Slim Chillers near you, I will have a link in the description box below where you can track those puppies down. Totally worth it, you guys. Anyway, anything and everything you saw in this vlog will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.